Hi everyone, welcome to my first Morfolio Trace tips and tricks video. This is going to be a series of short videos that I'm going to start sharing every week in my Instagram page and also in my YouTube channel. So feel free to comment and let me know if you have any questions or any suggestions. In this first episode, I'm going to show you how to create clouds by using the stencils that come with Morfolio Trace. Okay, so here I have a drawing that I did for a project here in Berkeley, California. And as you can see, we have a main, main building over here. We have a background and in the background we have a fence, we have trees, we have clouds and we have the sky. In this case, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to create that group of clouds and also the sky. Okay, so let's begin and bring Morfolio's tools over here. And I'm gonna turn off the layers of the clouds and also the layers of the sky. So I can show you how to add those elements to the final composition. Okay, so first step as usual is to create a new layer and let's reduce the opacity and lock the translation. Okay, and now we are ready to create the first group of clouds. Okay, for doing that, uh, I am gonna bring Morfolio's stencils over here. And what I usual, usually like to do is uh, use a stencil that is very similar to the shape of the clouds. In this case, I find uh, that this tree right here, this stencil, is very, very similar to the shape of the clouds. So what I do is just rotate the stencil and make a mirror image and start adding color to create my first group of clouds. The first group of clouds is gonna be gray and I'm gonna be adding color uh, on top of the trees. And that doesn't matter because I'm gonna change the location of the layer and I'm gonna put it uh, above the, the layer for the trees. So we can overlap the trees with no problems like this. Okay, this area is ready. I'm gonna use same stencil for this area as well. I'm gonna make a mirror image, one more mirror image, so I don't uh, make uh, the, exam the exact shape for, for this one. And like I said, doesn't matter if we are overlapping the trees. We just add color here and here. And finally, we can add some more here somewhere here, something like this. Okay, okay, so just like that, I have my first group of clouds. So now I have to create my second group of clouds and the sky. And for doing that, I bring back the same stencil, but in this case, I'm not gonna use uh, the stencil uh, area right here. I'm gonna use the background of the stencil or let's call it a negative part of the stencil. So I'm just gonna tap over here and I'm gonna use the area out of the tree. Okay, let me make a mirror image over here and let me place the stencil over here and add the sky. And by adding the sky like this, I'm gonna start creating automatically the second group of clouds. You see over here, right here, I'm gonna make a mirror image and I'm gonna finish my sky. I'm just gonna flip it over again. And let's make it over here, right here, like this. I'm just gonna start adding sky here. And one more area here. Maybe something like this is gonna work good. And like I said, you're gonna get automatically the shape of the second group of, group of clouds over here. And finally, I'm gonna move my layer above the trees layer, which is right over here, okay? And just like that, I just created uh, two groups of clouds and also the sky. 
Okay, guys, I hope you like this tutorial. And if you have any questions or suggestions, just leave a comment. And I'll see you next week.